Welcome back, my friends. So today we're going to be taking a look at an HDMI adapter for the Sega Dreamcast from Kaiko. So they sent this to me for purpose of review. I don't really need this product as my Dreamcast is uh, DC HDMI modded, but we've taken a look at a lot of these products in the past and there's a market for them. So I figured, why the heck not? Let's take a look at this thing. So compatible with your modern TVs. A lot of people want to plug in their Dreamcast and they don't want to you know, get the DC HDMI mod. It's a little expensive, requires a lot of work. So a lot of people are looking at these solutions. There's ones from Pound, a Hyperkin. I've covered a bunch of them. None of them are perfect, to be honest. This one, I've been hearing a lot of good things about. So I want to share some footage that I've captured, kind of talk about it. But this is taking from the best quality image that the Dreamcast can output through VGA. So Supports 480i, 480p, and PAL 576i. The manual's in multiple languages, just like two pages, English, whatever. It gives you a little bit of information. It's just plug and play. Uh, pretty nice stuff. No power required on this one. Um, it does come with an HDMI cable, so it is a breakaway uh, adapter here. Some of them, it's just already combined in there, and I really don't like that. This one, you just plug in whatever HDMI cable you want. Has that nice little metal, aluminum, whatever, uh, casing to it. Very similar to the uh, GC Video adapter that Kaiko uh, has made that we reviewed. If you haven't seen that video, take a look at it. But as you see here, back in my Dreamcast, I do have the uh, the little tight hole from uh, Dragon Sword Gaming for my HDMI port there. But we'll take a little comparison at that, looking at the DC uh, HDMI versus this for one little game later on in the video. But this thing just... Simply plugs into the back, plug in your HDMI cable, and when you power on your system, uh, the little light will come on, that little hole you see there. So that does glow to indicate that everything is working. So that, that's pretty much it. There's a lot of these cables. Um, I'm going to go ahead and showcase some footage so you guys can see it, and then I will comment on it at the end. So let's take a look. Three. Welcome back to the stage of history. Versus Sophia. Battle one, fight! This victory strengthens you win! Battle 2, fight! The ring! This victory strengthens the soul of King versus Capcom 2.
Space Cats, ooh la la, here coming at you from Spaceport 9. Tonight I'm investigating reports that aliens have invaded and are forcing people to dance. All lines are clear, ooh la la. Let's see what you make. Let's go. I've encountered aliens on the main floor, and they've taken hostages. Copy the aliens' moves. Press the buttons with the rhythm. Get on it. Let's dance! units. Suspects seen heading south. Block all major roads and capture yeah. the suspect. So there you guys go. Showcase some footage so you can kind of see what to expect with this adapter. Did the little DC HDMI or DC digital, whatever the hell it's being called nowadays, a comparison with Space Channel 5 to give you an idea of that. I know there's tons of different games I could have captured footage of, but right now this is the selection that I had, so that's what you got, right? And before you start busting my balls, my goal was just to capture footage, not really like play these games and focus deeply on them. So if I was sucking, who cares? Leave me alone. People always want to bust my balls, man. But I do have some things I want to say about this adapter, um, the Kaiko adapter. There's been tons of them. The Pound, the H, the, the Hyperkin, uh, I think one like Extreme, there's been a bunch of them. Um, and they all kind of do the same thing for the most part. And I'm not 100% what's different with this Kaiko one, but I have noticed the quality does seem quite a bit better to me than the previous ones I've messed with. Looking at previous footage that I've done, I, I would see like jail bars and some distortions. With this one, I wasn't seeing any of that pretty clear and crisp image, in my opinion. The audio... Now, I'm not 100% with that. I did have to lower the audio a lot. Um, comparing this to previous adapters, the audio comes through a hell of a lot louder. Um, some of the other adapters I had, I think they would either be really low or just kind of, you know, fine in the middle. The, this one was loud. Um, I don't know if that's just my specific setup, but I did notice I had to lower the decibels quite a bit because it was booming. It was booming, but visuals are pretty good. And I, I know um, there's going to be a lot of people out there. There's a lot of elitists that, you know, either they have a product to sell or they have special interests in things or they're just, they, they think their opinion's the only thing that matters. Don't listen to these people. You can figure out who they are. Um, my goal is just to showcase options. And in my opinion, throughout time here, with all the different adapters I've messed with, uh, I haven't been 100% satisfied with any of them. That's why I went the DC HDMI route. But not everybody wants to go that route because it can be a little pricey. You know, it's an expensive mod. You have to have a certain skill set to get that installed or pay somebody to do it. So for some people, it's not even that they can't afford it. It's just they can't justify it. And I, I totally understand that. So some people are just looking for a quick, simple solution to plug their damn system into a modern television and start playing their games. The Dreamcast has a lot of awesome games. Now, my adventure going through these different cables, if I would have had this Kaiko cable before the other ones, I would have been pretty damn satisfied. I still would have gone with the DC HDMI over time, um, but I definitely wouldn't be complaining too much here. This thing has been getting really good reviews. I haven't seen anybody have any complaints. The image is like stabilized. It like stays right dead center and the screen defaults to 4.3. I was surprised because I've tested other adapters, um, even adapters that never went to market. They would be 16.9. The contrast would be blown out. There'd be jail bars, distortions. The image would be off center. You would have to, you know, some cables I've even seen it's like, okay, we'll power your system off, turn your TV on. Like there was a whole cycle you had to do with this Kaiko adapter. For me, it didn't matter. I could turn the system on before I turn my TV on. I could turn the TV on before I turn my system on. It didn't matter. The, the, the image would be dead center and perfect every damn time. So I think that's, that, that, that's, that's pretty damn good. I mean, if you're looking for something like this, Take a look at other reviews out there. Read the reviews on Amazon. See everything. Find out what you need to know. I just hope that the videos and the, the little bit of captured footage I showcased here was good enough to give you an idea of what to expect. And I, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised with this. 
This adapter is in the same range as most of these, around the $30 price point uh, available on Amazon. I'll put links in the description if you are interested. Um, there's a lot of options out there. You can go with Baharo Bros stuff, um, which is pretty damn good as well. Little pricey, not as pricey as DC HDMI. I know um, HD Retrovision eventually <laughs> they will be releasing their component cables. So there's options out there. Just take a look at everything, what's going to work best for you. I just hope that I provided some value here. So really appreciate you guys stopping in, hanging out with me. And with that said, I will catch you guys next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. And boom. Bye.